Hey, thanks for stopping in. I've got something on my mind today that's not necessarily about buying a house. What could that be? Let's find out next. Dave Edwards, Treasure Valley Dave here, and today I've got something on my mind. I've been talking with some clients. I've been reading articles and things, and um, I think we need to talk about renting for just a moment. And I'm not talking about being an investor and buying a house to rent out, but on the other side of that, you're coming up here looking for a place to stay. And um, well, let's check out some of these articles I've been reading. that has been getting my mind to work on this. So this is one from earlier this month from the Idaho Statesman. And it says rental prices drop across the country last month, but nowhere faster than in Boise. And if you've seen some of my previous videos, you know there's that one guy that's always preaching the doom and gloom of the housing crash that takes over the entire world and all starts right here in Boise. Uh, there's been other people, not just me, but other smart people that have come out and called out that, you know, that's kind of a, a load of bullocks right there, isn't it? So but I'm thinking this is gonna to qualify to be in that same regard. No city's rents fell across the entire country quite as much as ours did in Boise. So rent fell by, are you guys sitting down? I should warn you, hold on to your hat, 3.2% in Boise. And that's from September to, to October. And um, the median rent was for one bedroom, 1,063, two bedroom, 1,262. So what does this 3.2% represent? in a dramatic, nowhere more than Boise in the entire country. Oh my gosh, the world's coming to an end. For that one bedroom, prices came down 34 bucks a month. For the two bedroom, came down 40 bucks a month. That's what all this hyperbole is about. So why did the rents fall in Boise? Well, this article touches on that briefly. It says that the fact that uh, Boise's rent had risen the sharpest anywhere else earlier in the year. So they went up like a skyrocket and then they came, came back 40 bucks. Rents are now 21.4% higher than they were a year ago. So yeah, they've gone up. They, if they come down 3.2%, it's not a, a sign of the market's crashing, but it is a sign that, well, rents came down. Well, uh, local developers have noticed that that's cooling off but they aren't expecting Boise's rents to continue to fall for long. One of the, the developers are citing that typically our market softens this time of year. It's a seasonal type thing, it's cyclical. And this is the time of year when people don't move as much because of the weather, holidays, and things like that. So this idea that, oh my gosh, the market's crashing, might not be entirely true. Apartment rental prices are still on the rise across the country, but that growth is showing significant signs of slowing. So when you're listening to stories like this, or even on the, the selling houses, but be careful how they phrase that. It's like, oh my gosh, it's all crashing. No, it's not growing as fast as it used to be. It used to be going like this. Now it's only going like this. So that the, when they throw in the word slowing, it doesn't mean like this. It means it came down a little bit. David Wally says, in general, there's an enthusiasm for being in Boise. Well, I completely concur with that if you include the entire Treasure Valley in that. Um, whether it's people moving here or developers coming in here to develop or investors coming in to invest, Boise is a great place to be. So you know what? Every expert's got an opinion, right? So I'm looking at our fall edition of our Realtor magazine, comes out from the National Association of Realtors, and they have this article that says, Serious Squeeze on Renters. U.S. needs to put attention on rental first-time buyer markets. This guy is saying that the rental market is heating up, and he's talking about the entire country, not just the Boise area. But it's kind of funny, Boise area, oh my gosh, the world's coming to an end, rental prices are crashing. Nationwide, this other expert saying, rental market is heating up. Uh, consequently, he says, rents are set to soar. 
Okay, is that going to happen in Boise? Well, I'd say that that horse has already left the barn, right? Um, the reason is twofold, he says, and maybe this is why we saw rents going up so much a year ago, is that the job market is improving. Well, that's certainly true here in the Treasure Valley. I mean, there's help wanted signs all over the place. Um, we've had people up here and we're out showing them houses and um, they bring a stack of resumes and they stop by and they see a few places drop off some resumes and they get multiple job offers that first day. The second reason is that um, many potential first time buyers are priced out. So they can't buy, ergo, they have to rent. And uh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of that. Prices have certainly gone up and people who um, maybe before marginally could qualify for a house to buy, they're not able to do that right now. And so yeah, that's, that's certainly valid. Um, something else that's gonna put a squeeze on rentals coming up, this expert is saying, is that mortgage rates may further squeeze renters next year. It's talking about how the Federal Reserve is gonna raise their benchmark interest rate um, and that may drive your mortgage rates up to 4%. So that's going to cost you know, several hundred dollars more each month if you're buying a house. And if you couldn't make it now, that three, $400 a month extra because of interest rates being higher, make it even that much further out of reach, meaning that you'll be renting, which puts more of a squeeze on renters. And uh, this expert here is kind of concluding and saying that America needs more homes, both for ownership and for rent. Our inventory is down. Our inventory has been down for you know, over a decade. And certainly the lockdown this last almost two years now has not helped anything. This article I thought was interesting. Not so much does it have to directly do with renting, but it's the top five reasons buyers give up on their home search. And of course, if they give up on their home search, they still have to live someplace. Maybe they're like that last expert and they're renting. And uh, we know rents, rents are, uh, well, they're getting squeezed according to that last expert. So some of the house hunters have decided to put their search on hold. Um, it says um, nearly four in 10, 40% of the uh, Americans who are looking to buy a house have halted their current search. So this is countrywide. 40% um, of people who are looking to buy a house have put their search on hold. Why? That's the first thing I asked. And guess what? They go ahead and answer those for us. They say uncertainty about the COVID-19. can certainly understand that. We just don't know what's going to happen. If something negative happens that affects the entire country or the whole world, I'd rather be here in Idaho when it does happen. So, um, the market is intimidating. 35% said that, 39 said about COVID. 35% said the market is intimidating. Well, that's why you get a professional to walk alongside you in that journey to help you find out if one, Idaho is the right place for you, um, and two, if we can find the right house for you. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. So one cool thing is that when you're a buyer that when you get in the process of buying a house, the seller pays for me. You don't come up with a penny in most situations. So you get to get all the expertise that I've got, Marine's got, Steven's got, because we've gone through the same thing that you've gone through or will be going through. And um, it doesn't cost you anything. I think that's fantastic. Will it always stay like that? I don't know but it's like that right now. And we are right here to help you. And um, just give us a call. Anyway, the next one down, there aren't enough homes on the market. Well, that's true. We were just talking about inventory. 24% said that, and it's true. For the last you know, 15 years, inventory has been an issue. And it has been not normal since before you know, the crash from the last decade. The next one is I haven't decided where I want to live after I sell my home. That also is at 24%. So that's where, give us a call. Send us an email, text, phone call. Those are good too. And say, hey, Dave, we don't know. Is Idaho the right place for us? Give me some information. And by golly, we're gonna do that for you. 
we're going to tell you about our experiences, the differences that we've encountered from where you live to up here. Um, and it might not be the place for you. I know I've got friends that have moved to Texas and to move to other places. And that's great because that's where they needed to go. And the last one is I've already lost out on a few homes because of the competitive market. 22% said that. There you go. You need someone that can walk with you through the process. Yes, over this year, we've had many cases where our clients were putting in offers on a home that had multiple offers and we would get beat out. But, you know, we keep finding, we keep searching for the next one and the next one. We're right there with you as we go through this process. Uh, one thing that we do different here, and remember, give us a call, shoot us a text, email, that's all fine so we know that we can help you, is that we are really into video. So if you say you came up here for your fact-finding trip, which is highly important, and then you're back home, you kind of know where you want to live. You say, I want to live in Meridian, or I want to live in Nampa, or Middleton, whatever, and then we find a house that might do the job. We go out there and we're going to video tour the house and the neighborhood so it's almost as if you are right there. When we're going through the house, we're giving commentary, say, oh, look at that, make sure you see that. And um, we're very thorough that way. And I think that's what makes us really different. So if we get beat out on a house, we're out there looking for another one. You don't have to jump on the plane and come back up here each time a possibility comes on the market. The next topic here is the housing market has been very competitive over the past year as home buyers scramble for a limited number of homes on the market. Um, some home shoppers top concerns according to the survey are finding a home that's within my budget. There again, having a great agent helping you through this process is great. Um, we also work with some fantastic lenders that have the heart of a teacher. They'll get on the phone with you, go through your paperwork and figure out, you know, how much you can get um, for a mortgage, um, figure out where you might be the most comfortable because you don't want a house to, uh, you don't want to be house rich and money poor. If that makes sense. Um, also paying too much for a home. There again, we uh, are right there with you throughout the process. If we're seeing a home and you know, it's like, you know what? That looks like it might be too much. I like it, but I don't want to overpay. We're going to do comparable market analysis for you. We're going to find out, is this a fair price? Is it a steal? Is it a little bit overpriced? Or is it just way out of the ballpark? And we're going to help you with that. Finding a home in a neighborhood where I want to live. Back to that video thing. It's like, you're back in California. Dave, this house just came on. I think it might be the one. The pictures, by the way, pictures can be liars. The pictures make it look great. Boom. We're out there mobile unit one, driving the neighborhood, touring the house, give you a real perspective of what that place is like. And you might say, let's write it up. Interest rates increasing. Well, yes, they've been at historic lows and they only have one way they can go. Am I right? Maybe some of you are old enough to remember the inflation of the 70s. What was the cure that they kept trying to end that inflation with? Raising interest rates. Do you remember interest rates? 18%. My first house I bought in the early 80s, 13.5%. I tell you what, there's a huge dollar difference between 13.5% and 3.5%. So interest rates are going to go up when? In the future, because that's the only direction they can go and we can't go in the past. So if you're thinking, wow, maybe I should bust a move now. Um, you might be right. And last but not least, 29% said discovering major concerns after I've moved. I mean, there's, we don't have a crystal ball. We can't predict the future, but what we can do is we can do that thorough walkthrough with our video and you can get a good feel for the house from that. And then you say, Dave, let's put in an offer. We put in an offer, we get it accepted. We get a home inspector, a very well qualified home inspector that goes out and looks at this house, gets in the crawl space, gets on the roof, gets in the attic, 
and as much as possible, look for anything that might be a concern for you and let you know about it. And then at that point, you can say, yes, let's move forward or no harm, no foul. I'm just, this isn't the one for me. And that's absolutely fine. So, and there's other things you can do too. Uh, you can get a home warranty, which is not home insurance, but a home warranty is where you pay this premium every year, like four or 500 bucks, and it covers all these different systems in your house. So if something goes wrong, you make a phone call, you pay a call out fee, and then they come and fix it for you. And there's various different companies that do that. But if you're concerned about something happening after you're in the house, then something like that might put your mind at rest. So back to this interest rate soaring and rent prices going up. Um, I was just talking with great clients today and um, they came up here to rent, which is exactly what we did when we came up here. We rented and then we started looking for houses. Um, and now that they're up here, they're seeing that we have this seasonal slowdown. So prices are down, interest rates are still low and rents are still very expensive. Okay, 40 bucks less, whoopee do, right? But they're still expensive. So it's like, Dave, let's go ahead and start our home buying process. Um, that's not just one family, that's been several families over the last few weeks that have said that exact same thing. And I couldn't agree more because let's, let's fast forward a few months. Let's say it's uh, March, April, temperatures coming up. Seasonally, we have more market activity and this year's gonna be, or next year's gonna be just the same. More market, market activity, more people looking to buy a house, prices go up in the spring. Um, more people buying, less inventory. S prices go up, less inventory. So, oh, interest rates might go up too, which might keep more people from buying, but maybe you're just coming up from some other place and you have enough money from the sale of your other house that if interest rates go up a little bit, it's not gonna be that big a deal. We're still gonna have a lot of demand up here. So anyway, we've talked about a lot of things today. We've talked about one, oh my gosh, the rental market's collapsing because it went down 40 bucks after it went up a bajillion, right? The other experts, Realtor Magazine, they're saying overall in the entire country, it's gonna be a tight market for rents and ever more so, and for some great reasons that um, apply here as well as across the country. And then finally, why are people hesitant or stopping their search? 40% of the people have stopped their home search, according to that expert there. And um, you know what? They're gonna get to the point where they need to get back involved. If you're gonna wait for that other 40% to get into the market, definitely it's gonna be you know, whatever inventory we have is gonna be just gobbled up by that other 40%. We don't have that extra 40% slack in our inventory right now. So don't be the last one on this, this crazy train of real estate in the Treasure Valley. So go ahead and give us a text, give us a phone call, send us an email, go to our website, all the links are below, and um, let us know say, Dave, I'm ready to move today, or I need some more information, I'm not sure if this is the place that I want to be or here in the Treasure Valley, but you know, we'll answer your questions and don't wait till you get everything ready down there in wherever you happen to be living. Say, well, I need to work on my house for a while and then I'm going to start the process. Give us a call. We'll give you some motivation. We've got agents that we work with in your area that will be glad to come out and give you their opinion on what warrants you putting your time and effort and money into to get your house ready and what can you can just leave it the way it is. And um, we'll start that process. Get pre-approved with the lender unless you think you're gonna be paying all cash, but if there's a chance you're gonna be getting a mortgage, talk with the lender sooner, better, sooner rather than later. If you got anything out of this video, share it with your friends and family. Go ahead and like, share, subscribe. That's important because we come out with new videos all the time and I don't want you to miss any. And until next time, remember, 
This is Treasure Valley Dave and the Treasure Valley Dave team looking forward to helping you get home.